Good morning. You're very welcome back. Now, Derek has been in the Rebel County this morning taking on the latest celebrity sporting trends. Celebrity Celebr sporting oh, trends. Isn't it just Messi. people playing They it. all do it. Yeah, it's big. Right. He's, he's trying paddle. T tennis. Yeah. Derek, how are you getting on? Absolutely, guys. So look, we'll give anything a go. Anyway, welcome down here to County Cork this morning. Uh, we're just outside Harry Toyle here on the N25, the home of paddle tennis. And we're saying good morning to Mark and Grace. Good morning to you guys. Good morning, Good morning. Good morning. And Mark, we'll start with you Great. because this facility is up and running since November and it's yeah. already chock-a-block. Yeah, it is. So we opened on the 4th of November. We had a 10-week soft launch and our grand opening was in the middle of January. So after five months, we've already had 11,000 unique visitors. If you include the repeats, we're at about 20,000. We've about 1,000 paddle players a week here. Now, tell us about the sport itself. Where did paddle tennis originate from? So, paddle started in Mexico in the 60s and then it went to Spain shortly after that. Pretty much what you see around us now is, is um, what, what it started as, the glass walls, the steel frame. Um, it's a hybrid of tennis and squash, as you can see with the net, the yellow ball. Um, racket sport, obviously, um, but you can play against the glass, boasting like squash. So, it's a, it's a fun hybrid. And it's a fast-paced sport, right? Oh, it is, absolutely. You'll find out shortly now when you're out there <laughs> running around. But it, it's, a great, it's a great workout, for sure. Uh, tell us about, then, how you got this facility up and running. Um, so I'm in business with my partner, Jeremy, who you've probably met earlier, I think. So um, Jeremy's a wine specialist. I have a racket sports background myself. We were doing luxury holidays for a while, tennis and wine tours of Spain. And um, when we were in Spain, we started playing paddle with our guests and fast forward, 20 months and this is our big big baby now. This so. is our big baby and it's doing really well. Grace, uh, tell me how long are you playing paddle now? I was playing it for four months. Four months now and what's your favourite thing about paddle tennis? Um, probably that I could play with my mum and dad and I make a lot of new friends. A lot of new pals and what's the hardest thing about paddle? Um, so there's this square in the course with cones around it and you have to try hit the ball into that. I think that's the hardest part. And you're still trying to do that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, practice makes perfect, right? Yeah. Uh, you're also in the panto, I believe. Yeah. What were you in last year? Um, I was a dancing spoon. You were a dancing spoon. And this year you're hoping to be in the panto as well? Yeah. Good girl. You're looking forward to it? Yeah. And you're loving the sport down here this morning? Yeah. Well done. Thank you so much, Grace. Thank we're going to pop over here to Heidi. Heidi, uh, tell us why you enjoy paddle. I love this sport. It's indoors, so all year round you can play. You stay nice and dry, right? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> and it's also my husband and my teenage daughter have also started playing. So as a family, we get to hang out. Kieran, you're pretty in pink over there. Tell us why you started playing paddle. <laughs> well, I had a preview of it before it opened. We were part of the fit out. So it's, as, it's hard not to enjoy it, to be fair. So, expansion pinning as well, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> and it's a proper good workout, right? It is, yeah, to, to make bits of your... <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Now, Mark, we were talking about inclusion, and inclusion is yeah. a very important part yeah. of your setup here. Yeah, for sure. So, we kept um, an innovative pay per play business model. So, um, the facility is open to everybody. Um, so, we don't have a membership or a joining fee. So, that's allowed it to everybody can play. So, um, we have. Um, special needs groups here all the time uh, the rebel wheelers a cork wheelchair users group are starting with us next week uh, down syndrome cork were here a couple of weeks ago just three weeks ago we actually won the pride of cork award for diversity and inclusion so it's a huge part of who jeremy and i are as promoters to have a facility for everybody and i saw some signers down here as well this morning yes um, fiona is one of our regular players she does weekly coaching and she brings her interpreter with her every monday night so um yeah really special for her to feel comfortable in a scenario where, where she could do that that. So it's, it's all great. about diversity and inclusion. It is, it is. Absolutely. Now, yeah. we're going to give this paddle crack a go. Uh, Jeremy's back with us all the way from Australia. Absolutely. <laughs> now it's time for you to get out on court there, Derek. Here, I have my shorts on, look. <laughs> and he's got his paddle tennis Ireland hoodie there. So okay. we're going to get you standing just behind the service line there. You're partnered with Jesse, one of our coaches. We've got Lyra, our head coach here. And she's going to be helping direct. Now, do I, service, do I service like a proper uh, uh, tennis ball? It is. Any so way you want. Bounce the ball and then hit it over the net into the other side there. OK, here we that go. That is nice. brilliant. Here we go. And now, Lovely this can shot, obviously Jesse. hit off the back wall, right? That is what makes paddle different to tennis, is that the ball is allowed to bounce, hit the walls, and then we can hit it again before the ball bouncing a second time. Okay. Oh, that's a great lob. There Over we go. We're getting into the swing of it. And here's Jeremy, Jesse. Is it always played in doubles? 
Yes, it is a game that is always played in doubles. There is no singles format of paddle. Oh, look at that for a hey, oh, oh. And he's won the point. I really Great get into the thing of this now. <laughs> um, where Liar, can we find out more money. online? Where can we find out more online? Oh, you can find more online at paddletennisireland.ie. All right, for me and all the crew here, get those balls. Come on, guys, keep hitting them. <laughs> <laughs> Back to your studio. Let's go. <laughs> Oh, look at that. What a facility. Woo! It's oh, a great, it's fabulous. It? What a facility. That and it's looks... such a grown sport. Oh, oh, I Derek, like it. That's Do you know what? I'm a lefty. You did so. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, yes. Derek? Oh, oh God, God Derek. Just better. when we needed you to get him. He'll okay. join a club. He'll be really good. I can guarantee we'll see him it's at a, great a paddle sport. club. All right. Uh, well yeah. done to everybody down in Cork this Still morning. in Dublin. Yeah. Oh, they're all over the they're place, popping up everywhere. Yeah. All right. uh, thank you for that. Still to come this morning on Ireland M, where we're going to meet the man who recently became the first Irish person to win a 100,000 mile, mile foot race <laughs> in Alaska. Anyway, it's a mental race in the, in the cold. <laughs> uh, and if you don't know what he's talking one, about, neither do we. And we've got some, <laughs> we've got some super science experiments to brighten up your Easter break. Uh, You'll see in a minute. A thousand mile foot race. <laughs>